Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back with another video. And in this video, I am going to be creating, in my opinion, the best and also my favorite team to use in NBA 2K20, my team. Real quick, before we hop into it and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated, guys. I know, I know NBA 2K20 is pretty much dead and done in the waters, but I'm trying my best to upload my team videos every single day, every single day until NBA 2K21 does come out, so a like on this video will be beyond greatly appreciated. I know that intro kind of sounded a little bit confusing, guys, but in this video right here, I am going to be on my homie Andrew Lee's account, as he does have... Pretty much every single Galaxy Opal in the game. Diving straight into it right here. As you can see, this man right here has collected over 3,000 cards in NBA 2K20 My Team. He's completed every single challenge right here, guys, for Spotlight right here. He has every single Spotlight Sim card in the game. Alongside that, he also has Domination completed, guys. He pretty much has every single card in the game. So from this very, very stacked collection right here, guys, I am going to be... Forming, in my opinion, the best team I feel like you can have in NBA 2K20, my team right now, and also my favorite team to use in NBA 2K20, my team. I highlighted pretty much every single premium collection, guys. They are pretty much all complete. Rewards wise, right here, guys. Again, he pretty much has every single reward in the game. Really, the only rewards that he is missing, it looks like, is like Gallo Super Mel Daniels, Hayward, Kiki, where they are like triple threat online slash offline rewards outside of that he has like i said every other reward in the game all spotlight sims like i said he completed boom spotlight regular boom hot spotlight historic all-time spotlight sim boom final spotlight sim boom when we glance back at his collections right here really the only collection that he is missing is the regular mo moments which honestly really isn't that big of a deal there's only like 30 cards that are very very outdated in them and a couple premium right here guys that he is missing He's missing some prime VIP cards some spotlight through my moments in the neck But other than that guys like I said and like we're, like we're going over right now again Every other premium collection right here guys is completed for Tokens or just simply completed for the player in that collection when we scroll down some more guys again You can take a look at his miscellaneous or whatever however you guys call this right here guys all coaches all courts all playbooks all logos all jerseys completed literally has every single jersey in the game guys and like i said it stacks up to 3,000 over 3,000 cards which this man does have take a look at the goat collection right here guys it pretty much has every single goat card collection as collected as well except for the small forward Giannis. but he already does have the point guard slash power forward Giannis, which is more up to date Giannis. but either way Giannis and Giannis, and they both come with 99 everything regardless so with that being said this man right here like i said has pretty much every single card collected in the game so with that being said guys this video right here is going to be very similar to the squad builders that i do do except i'm not going to be playing a game with this squad in this video i am going to be forming it and talking through why i think those players should be on the best team i feel like in nba 2k20 my team and also after that i'm also going to be forming my favorite team to use in nba 2k20 my team so based off that note, if you guys do want to see more cool videos like this where I do pick between the Tonic Atlas, you'll be able to choose from the form teams and talk about them. Let me know down below in the comment section and I will most definitely produce a couple more teams like this. Like the cheesiest team or the most overpowered team guys, stuff like that. I will most definitely do that. So based off that note, if you guys do want to see me make more different types of lineups with this man's collection right here guys. And me talking through the squad, why I think... So and so should be on the team. Let me know down below in the comment section which squad you guys would like to see next. I'm probably gonna be doing the cheesiest squad next. If you guys do want to see that, if you guys do want to see another another squad inside it, because I kind of want to do two rather than just one. Let me know down below in the comment section. So hopping into the lineup right here, guys. The first time that I'm gonna be creating is the best team. So let's go on ahead and label this one the best. Starting off right here, guys, with the point guard position. I think this is a no-brainer right here. The best point guard in the game is somebody who's not a point guard in real life. <laughs> He is Galaxy Opal, Goat, Giannis, Antetokounmpo, guys. This dude right here, Giannis, 99 everything, he's Giannis. I honestly don't think that this card right here needs an introduction at all. Moving on right here, onto the starting shooting guard position. This one right here really matters about preference. Personally, I feel like the two best shooting guards in the game are Kevin Durant, Goat, and also Goat, T-Mac. But for the starting five right here, I'm going to be using Kevin Durant just because, guys, he is taller. He is 6'10", compared to T-Mac only being 6'8". With that being said, guys, this KD card right here, like I said, is a Goat card, so we have 9 and everything. On top of that, every single year, he does come with an easy jumper to green and also, also some of the best animations in the entire game. And like I just mentioned, T-Mac being another great shooting guard, I do have T-Mac right here coming off the bench at my backup shooting guard position. It honestly does not get, like I said, better than T-Mac or KD 
at the two shooting guard position. Next up right here at the power four position. And again, just like the small four position, you can go with a lot of cards all on this position. And I probably will be getting a lot of people who disagree with me on this one, but I'm going to be going with Gallo Silva Mobamba on this one, guys. Personally, I feel like this card right here is a top 10 big man in the entire game. And even though, guys, he's not a go card, he doesn't have nine on everything stats right here, guys. He doesn't come with 60 plus Hall of Fame badges. This dude, Mo Bamba, right here, in my opinion, has the best body frame in the entire game. Better than Giannis, better than Yao Ming. He, he looks like Slender Man on a court. He is standing in right here at seven foot tall. His waistband, guys, makes him look like Slender Man. His waistband is pretty much touching his ankle slash knee area, and that's exactly why I have Mo Bamba right here at the four. With Mo Bamba guarding the corners and swinging out of the corners to get to the paint and just simply swing everywhere on the court, with that waistband, with his body frame, guys, I feel like he is the best power forward to use in the game. He's moving along right here onto the center position right here. I'm going to be going with Gallo Silva Yao Ming. This one right here is kind of a no-brainer guy. 7 foot 6 Yao Ming with 9 and everything. There is no other way for me to describe how goaded this card right here is. So Yao Ming right here is going to cap off and solidify the starting 5 unit right here. We're now moving on onto the bench at the backup point guard position. This one right here is another tough one right here, guys. We're getting tougher and tougher as we get deeper and deeper into this roster. And I'm going to be going with Galaxy Opal, GOAT LeBron James. Now, when it comes to this LeBron James card right here, I much rather prefer him at the point guard position because he could dribble glitch and also because of his jump shot, guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys know his jump shot in the corners. He shoots two. So, so if I were to take, if I were to use the GOAT small forward slash power forward version of LeBron James at the forward position, He'll be lined up in a corner, taking a lot of mid-ranges and two rather than threes. Because I have LeBron James, that point guard guy, he can dribble a up the court. And also, he'll be on the wings, so he will be taking three-pointers rather than two when it comes to this gold LeBron James card. And at the backup shooting guard position, like I mentioned, it is Tracy McGrady. As we're now moving along right here onto the backup small four position. And oh my goodness, this my, my homie Andrew Lee has so many Galaxy Opals in the game that it's literally lagging right now. <laughs> on me but the getting back on track to the small forward i'm going to be going with this Kawhi Leonard card right here this Kawhi Leonard card right here is arguably the best defender in nba 2k20 my team personally i feel like it is scotty pippen but i'm giving advantage to Kawhi over scotty because Kawhi has a much better jumper than scotty pippen let's move along now onto the backup power forward position this one right here like i said about mobamba kind of matters about preference and i do prefer right here using Galaxy Opal Will Chamberlain rather than all the other big men at the power forward position. And that is because when it comes to this Goat Will Chamberlain card right here, he has a very similar body frame to Mo Bamba, where he is seven foot one and comes with a very, very maxed out wingspan. And just simply the way he moves on a court is very similar to Mo Bamba, where, where it is just extremely cheesy and glitchy. When I rock out power forward, when I think of the best power forwards, I think of guys that could swing out the corner and knock down shots for me in a corner. That is perfect when it comes to Mobamba and Will Chamberlain when they swing out the corner because of their wide max wingspan. They get so many pass length steals, coming to the paint, swinging to the paint, swinging to the wing, guys. The, the, the body frame on them is just crazy. And then they're just so crazy, I feel like they should be used at my power forwards for the best team in the game. Moving on right here to the backup center position. Again, we're getting really, really tough. And there are so many great choices. But I'm going to be going with right here, Galaxy, Opal, Goat, Kareem, Abdul, Jabbar. If Yao Ming was not in the game, guys, Kareem would be the best center in the game. When it comes to this Kareem card right here, he's standing at 7'2", Goat card, so he pretty much come with 99 everything. And when it comes to the Kareem that makes him extremely goaded, is his dribble signatures. For a GOAT big man, he has the best dribble signatures in the game by far. For a big man in general, he has like top five dribbling signature moves. On top of that, he does come with a nice easy jumper to green. A lot easier than some of the other GOAT cards like Shaq, like Bill Russell, and like Tim Duncan, which is the main reason why I'm using Cream over them as well because of the jumper. So this right here, guys, is going to be the 10-man roster that I think is the best in the game. Now, usually I would just cap it out of roster at 10 men, but because we're making the best team possible, I'm gonna be gonna be using all 13 spots right here. So Moving on right here, on to the third to last spot. I think Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons should most definitely deserve a spot on his team. Just like just like LeBron James, the dribble glitchy, the tweener. Definitely need a spot right here. Six foot ten PG that could tween and dribble glitch. On to the 12th man right here. I think Dino Rada should also deserve a spot on his team right here. Dino is another one of those cards where he has a very, very cheesy and glitchy body frame. Also great signatures like Priyam Dujabar when it comes to big man dribbling moving on to the last 13th man right here guys i gotta do it i gotta do it i gotta add my guy glenn rice to this roster right here guys this man glenn rice right here 
is a car well i'll just say this off the bat he is the best base 98 card i feel like in the game by far and that is because he comes with the easiest and the fastest base 98 release to green He's standing at six foot seven right here guys at the, at the at the shooting guard position great bash count great attribute count right here guys i personally think this glenn rice card right here is the third best shooting guard in the game behind KD and behind T-Mac. When I think of Glenn Rice, guys, I think of a guy that can give me a bucket that can turn on a switch, like, boom, on a flick of a snap of a fingers, then get, then give me a bucket and get me, like, three straight threes anytime in the game. So for that reason, guys, I think Glenn Rice does deserve a spot on this team. So now that we have gone over, in my opinion, the best team in NBA 2K20, my team, it is now time I do talk about my favorite team twos in NBA 2K20, my team. Out of all the cards, guys, diving straight into it, here is my favorite team to use you guys can already see the team right here i'm not really going to be going into deep in detail on why i chose these players guys because they're just simply my favorite players starting off with the starting point guard galaxy will go stephen curry he is my favorite player in the nba right now starting shooting guard we got galaxy opal glenn rice you guys already know how much love i got for that glenn rice card now at the small forward position bob pet is my favorite small forward card in the game, but unfortunately, Andre Lee does not have him, unfortunately, because he's pretty rare. So we're going to be rocking out with Kevin Durant, who is my second favorite small forward to use in my team. As a power forward and center, we have two lengthy phenoms, Gallus Hill Bull, Mo Bamba, and also Gallus Hill Bull, Chamberlain. I feel like they have the best body frames in MA2K20, my team for a big man, so I do rock out with both of those in my power forward and center position. Also, bench, point guard, Giannis, did not need an introduction, guys. Hop stepping with Giannis is just simply extremely fun to do in my team. He's a go car nine and everything. He's just a glitch maxed out version of Giannis. Go Kobe Bean at the backup shooting guard position. Rest in peace, my guy Kobe. You guys already know how much love I got for Kobe. At the backup small forward position, who was actually my third favorite small forward to use, is Pink Diamond Daddy is Young. He's another very tall base 98 card, just like Glenn Rice is. Glenn Rice is 6'7", base 98. Daddy Young is 6'8", with base 98. Backup power forward, Gallows over Kevin McHale. He is basically just like a Dino Raja. The only reason why I like Kevin Kill better is because he has a better jumper than Ke than Dino Rada, and just Kevin Kill's got me through more games before Dino Rada came out, so I got more love for Kevin Kill than Dino. And at last, at the backup center position, we got Gallant Hill with David Robinson, guys. You guys already know how much love I got for D-Rob, and the main reason I got love for D-Rob is because he has that Hall of Fame steady shooter badge. At the last three spots right here, guys, we got Gallus Hill, but go Tracy McGrady. You guys already know how much love I got for Tracy McGrady as well. Clay Thompson, I'm a big Warriors fan. He's one of my favorite players in the NBA, and also lastly, Scottie Pippen, who I just think is the best defender in the game ahead of Kawhi Leonard. So that right there, guys, is going to do it for my favorite team to use in NBA 2K20, my team. Okay, guys, that right there now is wrapping up for this video right here. In this video, I did tell you guys my opinion. The best team possible that you can form in NBA 2K20, my team, and also my favorite team to use in NBA 2K20, my team. In case you guys didn't miss out on, any, on a team that I did show you guys, we'll show you guys right here the two teams on the left will be the best team, and the right will be my favorite team to recap and give you guys a quick summary. So based off that note, if you guys did enjoy this video right here, make sure you guys do drop a like, and that would be greatly appreciated. And also, let me know in the comment section if you guys do want to see more cool videos like this, because this right here is a little bit of different type of videos that I do normally post. But yeah, if you guys want to see more different lineups and me choosing different lineups, most overpowered or cheesiest. Like I said earlier, let me know down below in the comment section and I will most definitely do that. So now this video right here is pretty much complete. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And as usual, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And this is YBC and I'm out. Peace.